Hello everyone, Kevin here. Over the past few weeks, I've been working on tools and features that allow me to create and run Block Tanks tournaments. Here's what that looks like. It is officially 8 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. We are now getting flooded. Oh my gosh, 30, what the heck? Okay, 30 people. Uh, holy crap, look at this, no way. As you can see, it's pretty insane stuff. However, I wanted to go even further and allow tournaments to be hosted by not just me, but also by members of the community. And today I am proud to announce that with a bit of knowledge and training, it is now possible for you to host your very own Block Tanks tournament. Let me show you how. Step 1. Tell me the date and time of your tournament. That way I can make sure not to plan any updates to the website during your tournament, and I can possibly be on standby if you run into any technical issues. This is especially important if you are planning a tournament with a lot of players at once. More on that later. Step 2. Make sure you have the esports role on your account. To get this role, just email me or contact me on Discord and tell me your Block Tanks username. Keep in mind that you need to have a reason for wanting the role. For example, you are a YouTuber or streamer and you would like to host a tournament for your fans. Or maybe you want to start a Block Tanks esports league or competitive group. Step 3, and this is the biggest step, be familiar with the private match settings. If you didn't already know, you can make your own custom private matches in Block Tanks by clicking host game on the title screen. The way that you can make tournament style matches is by modifying some of the settings in this menu. Let's take a look at some of the most important settings for tournaments. First, you need to select one or more maps for your tournament. With the eSports role, you have access to an exclusive mega map, which is big enough for hundreds of players as opposed to the other maps, which are really only big enough for about 20 to 30 players max. Next, take into consideration how long you want your rounds to be. From my experience, 20 minutes is a good amount long enough for a good fair competition, but short enough to keep players from getting bored. Adding a warm-up time is very important, as it will give players enough time to join before the real match begins. Increasing the weapon spawn rate can be useful for matches with lots of players. If you plan to have only one round in your tournament, I would highly recommend checking the one round only box. Instead of creating a new round when the first round ends, your game will now direct players to this awesome results board. You can even share the link to this page since it is permanent. I would also recommend turning on the setting to preserve stats of players who reconnect. With this mode, if a player loses connection mid-match, they can rejoin and still keep their stats, such as total kills and deaths. If you want to have a match with a small amount of players, adjusting the spectator slider can be useful. For example, if you want to host a 1v1 match but also spectate it yourself, you can set the max players up here to 2 and set the number of spectators to 1. This will allow 3 people to join the match, 2 actual players, and 1 spectator. If you want a lot of players, turn on Big Match Mode. With Big Match Mode enabled, you can create tournaments with up to 150 players. If you plan to host a big match, please let me know in advance so I can reserve better servers to reduce crashes and lag. Lastly, I always recommend you host your tournament on a dedicated server, just to reduce the possibility of lag. That's quite a lot of settings to get right, so if you have questions or you would like me to help set up your tournament, just let me know. Step 4. Know how to spectate a match. If the scoreboard isn't already on your screen, click this icon to pull it up. From there, click the spectate button in the top right. You will have to be in a private match to do this. When you first enter spectate mode, the game will follow whoever has the highest kill streak. If you click, you can toggle between this mode and manual mode, where you can use the WSAD keys to move. Personally, I prefer the auto camera because it follows the action and does the work for you. And that's it! You are now ready to host your very own Block Tanks tournament. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments, on Discord, or by email. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing all of your tournaments, competitions, and leagues in the future.